Ready now. Okay. Ready Welcome that. back to the channel, people. It's me, myself, Jam. Bob Coco is here. They came here. Him and Ben. They're actually doing some touch-up construction work. But he just he just told me, look, these things are ready. These matokis, these green banana. And if we oh, so as you can see, the birds have been at it. So that's confirmed. It's time to take it down before you know we lose any more. It's yellow inside, as we can see. So he's going to do the honors. And you know, each tree will bear. Once it bears once, it's done. So as you can see, there should be some babies coming up. But well, there's not right here. But as you can see, usually they'll just keep reproducing. So we're going to take this one down. And then it'll be time for this one. Yeah. Okay, one slice, one here, quick. So what did they get? Two. They messed up two. They yeah, messed up many, see. Hopefully not many. So we just whip them out now. Mm. So this is a staple food here in Uganda. And you know, they have green banana at other places, but it's a different type. It's a more white one. But this one, even when you cook it, it goes yellow. Very nice. Okay, even the splitting. Yeah, that shows it is extremely ready. It's extremely ready. Mm. Wow, well, we, we've been we've been hesitating. Mm -hmm. So at yeah, the, at the sting time. As you can see, and we'll just leave. It will chop this up into pieces. Yeah. And it will just go and go back into the ground, and add to the what? To the fertilization process. Now this is all grown with no additives. We never put nothing in this. We never sprayed it. We never did anything. What? Boom. Full of water, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. So as you can see, we're left with this one here. And probably in a couple of weeks, you'll see a new one coming out the floor. I'm surprised we can't see it already. Yeah. Hmm. So we just chop that one up and it will just regenerate the soil. What? Boom. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now you see that inner core piece. Mm. Can you you could you could eat that? I bet you could eat that. This one. The white, you know the inner core, the this inside. One. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure some people could, could clap that down. Yeah. Yeah. That's the inner core of the whole thing. It's very there's a lot of water in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, man. <clears throat> Yes. Now, as you can see, this is actually my second harvest from here. I did harvest a finger a finger banana over there on the tree there that once was there. Yeah. Steady. Steady. What would you say it weighs? Huh? Like 15. 15 kg? Yeah. As if... I was going to take that with me, but that's too much. You break off some. Yeah, that's too much. Uh, what? Wait. Hmm? Yes, Ben. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. The birds start eating the thing. <laughs> so, what now, do you pluck it off? Now, this one, yeah? Okay. Uh, They're ready, no? Uh, oh, we just cut. Yeah. Just stem or something. How much we touch it? What do you want? A knife. A knife? Mm. All right. Yeah man, tell them about my toki. <laughs> my toki? Yeah. It's one of the greatest foods in our culture here. Okay. In Uganda, especially in the central division. Uganda, they like my toki too much. Especially the ladies. It's very nice once you take it with beef or chicken. It's 
good. Mm. If you plant this one takes a year. Once you once you plant it in the soil, it takes a year to start harvesting. So now, if one had planted like a, a hundred of them, the first year you expect a hundred of them. There are many types. There are some which will grow like a bit small like this. But there are many that can grow very big. Like uh, four feet. Four feet? Yes. Yeah. Just in case you planted the many, they take one year to grow mm -hmm. and to harvest. And to harvest. As you can see. So I'm going to try to chop. The yellow. There's yes. a lot of ones that's white. You know, especially that I'm used to. Just in case Mr. J wants to take some, I think they can reach Tuesday. Yeah, I take a couple. Mm -hmm. Uganda ladies, they like this one too much. Oh no! Mary, Uganda lady, you must you know you must plant this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, Papa. Show me how you bought it. Uh huh. Boom. Very good piece there. It's good to. To, to, to do that family. That's like one of the most common foods here, then. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> you must have this one. And tell them how much you pay for that whole bag. This one. The whole thing. The whole thing. This one I can. This one is like a ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. If it was, if it was the other type, which is very big, it can even be selling it either forty k. Yes. Or 35,000 depending on the size because they also have what they have different types. Yes. Yeah, those ones which can be very big, and there are these ones, sweet ones, small but tight. Yes, 10,000. Yeah, that's like two pounds. Yeah. Yeah, depending on the size. This one, I, this one must be ten, ten thousand plus. Yeah. So we had a hundred of them. That will be. Mm -hmm. But they depend even on the size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the more bigger, the more uh, expensive they become. But they are on the market. These ones, when you have, you see the birds. We are trying to harvest before we saw it, but now it's time for bad man to harvest also. <laughs> Probably Joe will take these ones to the UK. They can have this Tuesday. Shall wash them. And you see very good. <coughs> Tight one. Can cook and eat either with fish or beef or chicken. Boom. That's it. Yeah. The purpose for doing that is to prevent them from getting ripe very fast because like you saw this one is the bird we are starting to feast. So that one. So we are breaking, breaking them, dispatching them 
such that our, our brother can take them back to the UK, maybe Tuesday. So breaking them here controls the temperature that they don't uh, get ripe very fast. Yeah.